It's the first game of the Northwest Arkansas series, and it's Sunday. Every Sunday we sit down with Steve Bouchel, the manager of the Rough Riders. And Steve, three games into the season, a uh, little bit unconventional start to the season. You have a rain out on Thursday, doubleheader, 10-inning game yesterday, and a quick turnaround time here today. It has not been the smoothest of starts for you. Yeah, but it hadn't been that bad. I mean, to be one and two, you know, I think, uh, you know, looking at the other team's rosters, yeah, I have a sneaky feeling that Arkansas may – there's a good chance they may be the best team in the league, you know. And I thought we played pretty decently for three games, considering the youth and the guys that are new to this league. So uh, not bad, but, yeah, you're right. Doubleheader to open things up and then a travel getaway day with a day game following and, and your pitching already being a little bit stretched in the bullpen. So, yeah, Jeff's working hard to kind of keep this thing together. You know, we just need to have the starters start covering some innings for us. Where do you guys stand with the pitching situation? Uh, are you a little bit concerned, or uh, do you think that you'll be able to, to make it through these next couple of games and start to get into more of a regular rhythm? You know, hopefully we'll get into more of a regular rhythm. I think, you know, like I said, the key right now with the starters being limited on their pitches, they're just going to have to be a little more efficient. And, you know, we might have to push them a little bit, maybe push one or two guys in the bullpens to throw more than one inning. But... Uh, right now, I would say we're okay, but if there's anyone that can handle it or juggle it, Jeff's really good at it. And uh, as we're speaking, he's on the phone with the pitching coordinator trying to work things out for Tuesday start. But um, no, we'll be okay. Neil Ramirez last night, boy, it was uh, sink or swim, it seemed like. The start of that outing for him, he looked the best I'd seen him in my limited time and seeing him last year and the start of this year. And then all of a sudden, things just completely fell apart for him in that fourth inning. Yeah, I think you, you said it perfectly. It may be the best three innings I've seen him throw, too, you know, back to back to back. And then uh, the fourth inning, you know, the leadoff double and then the sack bunt where he fails to cover home plate. I think that may have rattled him a little bit. And then he gets two outs. And you still think you're going to be okay. And, and then three straight walks and his pitch count went up quickly. I think one thing about Neil um, – you know, he, he gets outs, but he, he gets outs with a lot of pitches, and that, that's one thing that hurts him. His pitch count gets high. So, uh, but, yeah, if, I agree 100%. Three innings of really good pitching, and then the wheels just came off in the forest. So, uh, hopefully a good, good sign of things to come. Uh, offensively with this team, the uh, that was one of the things that we were a little bit concerned about where all the offense was going to come at the start of this season with guys getting adjusted to this level. Uh, Obviously, the results-wise, not tearing it up, but do you like the approaches that guys are taking, the at-bats that they're having? Yeah, I think so. And you can tell the, the young kids, even the opening night, they're not used to seeing that 2-1 or 3-1 changeup or curveball. You know, these guys that are a little bit more advanced now are going to throw off-speed stuff for strikes, and uh, the young guys will take time for them to adjust to it. And you can see that, uh, you know, it's something that they haven't seen. So that's going to take time, and we know that, and I know I'll be patient with that. But... Overall, I think the guys have had a pretty decent approach. You know, we're not a team that has that thumper or the power in the lineup like we've had the last year or two, especially last year. So, uh, you know, we got to string some hits together. And like I said, you know, early on we may have a few growing pains, but hopefully it will all come around. Finally, Boo, last night in the big league game, Larry Garcia made his major league debut. He pinch hit in the eighth inning, struck out in Lance Berkman's spot. Uh, he becomes the 96th former Rough Rider to make it up to the big leagues. And from last year's team, you just look, he's the sixth. And when Nick Tepish makes his start in a couple of days, he'll be the seventh player from the 2012 Rough Riders. First, just a little bit about Larry. And uh, again, what a special group that was last year. Yeah, last year's group was definitely special. I think to send four guys up and to have a couple breaking in uh, this year, you know, it, it says a lot about the, the youth and the, and the talent that the Rangers have in the organization. So... Um, certainly, we take pride in that because we're former Rough Riders, but uh, we're more happy for those guys that they, they've worked hard and, and have been able to make it to the big leagues. And a good example for all the guys in that clubhouse to see. You can move up pretty quickly if you if you perform here. Well, Boo, thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing you guys out there in this series. All right. Thanks, Alex. That's Steve Bouchel. We're back after this on the Rough Riders Baseball Network.